G'day friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little unboxing and setup for you. I purchased this Galen Leather Traveler's Notebook insert kind of leather wallet, and I've already peeked inside. I'm super excited to get into it. I have repackaged it all back up just to uh, simulate an unboxing. <laughs> but for all intents and purposes, I've already unboxed it and I've run into a problem that I'm going to kind of uh, show you a workaround that I, I came up with. I'm sure it's not new, but I just put it together and I thought, you know what, this works for me. I'm going to keep going with it because I was contemplating sending it back and trying to get a different size. But to be fair, it, I'm trying to use it in a way that it wasn't really intended for, I guess. And I also got it personalized. So there's no way to kind of reuse that unless some other person in the world that has the initials JLB is going to want it. So anyway, I'll deal with it. I think it's fine. The supply it's it's beautiful let's get into it uh this is this came with it the company is from turkey or is in turkey i think it originated in istanbul there's a cute little letter uh from the business and kind of like the backstory i thought this was really cute too it looks like a little postcard uh with a quote on the back a 10 percent off coupon uh which i probably shouldn't show you that <laughs> don't use that unless you purchased before i guess um and then some cute little tea and coffee sachets which i thought was just a sweet little uh, gesture. Oh, and the, uh, the little chai, chai, chai? Charm. The evil eye charm. I guess I tried to blend all those words together. So, uh, cute little package. That's so, uh, especially with this, like, fully branded little pouch that has cat hair all over it now. I thought that was really sweet. This is the, uh, main event, and this is what I'm so excited to show you. Let's move uh, some of my hair out of the way and some of this cat hair out of the way. <laughs> this is a very hairy unboxing. <laughs> All right, this is it. Uh, this is my little wallet insert. What is it technically called? I've written it down somewhere here. Oh, it is a leather wallet insert for Traveler's Notebook. This is the regular size and it's in the Crazy Horse Brown. Let's slide off this belly band. I got mine with personalization. So uh, I got JLB embossed into it down here. Embossed? Debossed? Is that the same thing? I always feel like that's the same word. And I know it's not though, they're two different words, but anyway. Uh, this is what it looks like inside, there's a zip. There are two full-sized pockets on this side. There's one full-sized pocket over this side, one deep uh, kind of long pocket this way, four little business card holders, and then a small pocket and this, uh, what do you call this? Secretary? secretarial pocket no idea this one as well as a uh what's this called a pen loop but i thought it was interesting it's elasticated on the back so i think it's kind of like a multi-size pen loop because originally i had uh put in my multi pen which i do have a big version of that one here this is a five pen multi pen and that slips in there fine i like to pull it out when i put my inserts in you'll see because this uh, it does kind of like widen it up and I guess if you had smaller like pocket notebooks and stuff uh, it would work Anyway, I'm gonna show you kind of the problem I ran into because originally I bought this because I had two other travelers notebook like Travelers notebook branded ones and I was using this for my photo journal which also has an accompanying sticker book and I wanted to switch this out and give it something more permanent so that because originally this was for my church journals so I didn't want to like I didn't want to cross-utilize like that. I just needed a reason to buy this, right? Okay, so <laughs> I decided to get... Oh, I didn't show you the back. Beautiful little logo put in here. I just think this is absolutely stunning. I have no idea how it's going to wear in, but I, I love a good, you know, aged, worn-in leather journal cover. So for me, all the scratches couldn't be more perfect. Um, I wanted to put in my photo journals. I have one here. I prepared this earlier. This one's fully finished. Um, so we love that. I was going to just slip this in, and because it said it was for Traveler's Notebook size, I know it's meant to fit into a Traveler's Notebook, but I assumed that it would still hold a Traveler's Notebook because it would be the same height. It's actually a little bit smaller so that it fits into the Traveler's Notebook nicely, and because this is stitched, I mean, it's even stitched really close to the edge, it's just not wide enough to put that cover in. You can see I've tried everything. I've even tried to, like, you know, really wedge it in there. Bar actually slicing this off on a slight diagonal to kind of wedge it in there. I thought, you know what, I'm going to come up with a workaround because where there's a will, there's a way. I'm going to have a mad will to get this to be working for my photo journal. I came up with a simple solution um, that I've probably seen somewhere before and just don't remember who had done it. But I don't know. If I've seen it and you've seen it, that's where it's come from. 
just truly can't remember. Um, I've just attached a like tip in, like a postcard tip in to the back. This is a Mindy Lacefield uh, little print that I got from Art Drawing the Magic. And I'm gonna slip this in. Now it's right near the spine of the book so that when it uh, shuts, for all intents and purposes, it fully fits in there. It's not going to slip around and fall out. I mean, when I do that to it, yes, it totally will. I could make it wider and actually, you know, take the tip in all the way from the top to the bottom. But to be fair, I don't ever usually walk around shaking my journal like that. Um, I would just walk around with it like this. So I think it's fine. I think that'll be fine. Uh, if it does bother me, I'll just make it a bit wider. And I did the same thing for this. This is actually my photo journal. This is my newest one. There's a few pages in there. I've been working on. This is my second and I'm going to slide this one in here and because the tip in is so close to the spine it kind of mimics like a new back page that's smaller and that way I can fit both of them in there nicely. Just push them together. There you go. Um, so here is the thing with the pen loop. Whilst it's in there it just makes it a whole lot chunkier so you can flip it out and I think I'll just keep mine flipped out. I've also got this Kaweco Lilliput uh, brass pen. It's a capped pen that screws on and off. It's a ball ballpoint, one millimeter. I got this on jet pens a while ago. I really do love this pen. I think I'm gonna just keep it in this pen loop for now uh, because it also helps to keep that pen loop outside of the wallet insert. Will I end up using this? Probably not. I don't see much of a use for it. It is so beautiful though. Like this, this is so beautifully made. I am uh, genuinely shocked. Uh, I, I, not that I'm shocked because I've, I've heard great things about Galen Leather. I just never have purchased anything. And, you know, I really only have uh, Sojourner. I have a couple of those. I have a Chic Sparrow. I have a couple of those. And then I have the Traveler's Notebook brand. So I'm, even though I'm do journaling and I've, I feel like I've got a billion journals, journal covers aren't something that I buy a ton of. Oh, I have some Hobonichi covers as well. Uh, I guess, I mean, I have more than I would probably need. But... Yeah, to try a new brand that is handmade, I, I guess I wasn't expecting it to be this level of, like, perfect and finished. And, you know, the only workaround I had to, you know, come across was something that I myself could have emailed and asked about <laughs> beforehand. But I was just, I was determined to use this because it looked so beautiful on the site. And at our meetup, I'd uh, seen a few Galen Leather journals. A few people were, like, uh, kind enough to let me have a fiddle with their journals. And I just felt like they were so pretty. So... I got mine personalized. I'm committing to it. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to use it for this photo journal and my sticker book so that it's got somewhere to live that is permanent. If I've got a pen here, then I can always kind of update it as I go. My photo journals are really low maintenance. As long as I've got the photos in there, I usually just decorate with some stickers and writing. So this will be perfect for me. And it feels beautiful, looks beautiful. I am very, very happy with it. And I just wanted to share the unboxing and setup with you came in this really beautiful box. I am tempted to just leave the box open like this around my desk and to pop this in here, much like I do with my five-year Hobonichi journal, <laughs> which came in... Okay, the journal itself came in a yellow box. And then when I got the cover, it came in this gray box. And then suddenly with the cover on, it didn't fit in the yellow box. So then I had to use this uh, to keep it in here. But this was my cover for, I think, my Mina Peronen. Uh, so then I had to put this box inside this box. I seem to be having an issue <laughs> letting go of these boxes. <laughs> Serves no purpose. I mean, they're just kind of like little trays of journals I, you know, have around. But, oh, it works for me. What are you going to do? I usually stack them all like this anyway. So I think I'm going to commit to keeping this box around like this. Uh, you'll see it around on my Instagram, so hopefully you can uh, watch the aging process go there and see if it ages beautifully and how that all looks. This is just another thing that I've noticed that with that pen, sometimes when I open it, it will just open the few pages that are caught behind the loop. I don't know if over time this will stretch out and, you know, make itself a bit more permanently outside of the, wallet, the leather wallet insert, but it is supposed to fit inside one of these, right? And this is why there's, like, I didn't want the elastic in there. I just wanted it to be a wallet and to slip in. But it's really supposed to have these elastics right through the middle. So if I had journals in here, they'd be on the elastics. And I wouldn't have to, have to worry about using the wallet like that. But this is what it looks like inside a traveler's notebook. This has got two notebooks in there. Oh, I kind of like that, how it sticks out. I would just commit to this, but then do I have to buy a new journal for my 
from my church journal. No, I can't. I'm just using this as a wallet. <laughs> How quickly my mind changes. <laughs> just because I think that looks really nice. You know what reminds me of? Remember that trend where people wore like one t-shirt under another t-shirt? I was so obsessed with that when I was younger. All right, no. This is for my church journal. But just for you to get a good visual on that. You know what? I'm going to take out this one. So you can see what it looks like with one traveler's notebook in there. And I'm going to take it out of the... I'm going to take it out of the pocket and just put it through the elastic. I'm not telling you to go buy this. I can vouch for how beautifully it's made. But obviously, only go and buy things that you want to need. Don't let me sway you either way. This is not sponsored. I bought it with my own money. I just want to show you these things because they do help me. And I probably would have, if I'd seen a review, you know what? There probably was one. I didn't even look for it. But if I happened upon a review like this before I bought it, uh, it might have helped me at least be prepared and not be slightly shocked when I tried to fit the journal in, which it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Making it sound like it was a literal drama. Okay, that's what it looks like inside. That's what it's made for. I think it looks beautiful. I love the crazy horse leather. I think it's such a beautiful brown and I just love the feel of it. It feels very, um, very smooth and very matte feeling, like not powdery, but I do imagine that with time it's going to, uh, like all the oils of my hands are going to really make it gloss up like these traveler's notebooks and these feel really beautiful. I, th I think I have to condition these. I'm not quite sure, but to be fair, like, I've just been letting these age as they age. I haven't taken care of any of these journals. I worried about conditioning them because of the, first of all, I glued these charms on, but um, also the gold foiling. It does seem to be holding up super well. Like, I got this in 2017, so this journal is five years old now, and it's really nice and pliable. It's not super bendy, like, it still has some of its structure, but a lot of the oils of my hands have really uh, aged that cover, and there's a lot of dents and scratches and dings on it, which I think just add a lot of character. I think this will kind of age the same way and be really beautiful, but I love how it's already got that sign, the, like the, the, the wear and the aging around the edges. It says on here, it says on the box, burnished edges. I don't know what that means, but is that it? <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm noticing. Anyway, let's pop this back in here. Everything's set up. Oh, no, I took my sticker book out. Now I took my photo journal out. I will put this back in there, sort that out in a second. But that's all, that's unboxed, that's set up, that's ready to go. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you've got any Galen Mother products that are this and that you, or even if you have a better solution than what I've shown you, please leave that in the comments because um, you guys always have really good suggestions. And if you have any Galen Mother products that you think are absolutely worth it and you know really beautifully made that you'd just like to share, pop them in the comments below as well because uh, I was actually really surprised. It's a, like really 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 beautiful uh, like handmade stuff and I'd be tempted to go and buy more just for how impressed I was at the quality of this it wasn't cheap I don't think many of the journal covers are cheap so I guess people weren't expecting that but just to let you know I think ooh, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you what I think I paid but just go and look on the website it's, it's not the cheapest in the world but I do believe you get what you pay for so uh, that'll be my short little review on that it's all set out I can't wait to use it thanks for joining me I'll see you again soon bye